Good morning, Trade as well. Uh, Asian equities are looking to open fairly mixed this morning, following the US lead, where US indices uh, a bit up and down. It was a, it was a low volatile session, a, a low volatility session. There was uh, very little news flow, but big tech gave back some of its recent gains. Uh, there was a major pullback in Tesla, down around six percent on a Goldman Sachs downgrade. Uh, Meta, Amazon, and Microsoft also performed quite poorly, down between two and three percent. So this saw the Nasdaq. Uh, drag down 1% to be the worst performing index. Uh, the Russell 2000 was the only major index uh, finishing the green. There was a bounce in regional banking, uh, the KRE, ETF especially. Um, and interestingly, that, that ratio between the, the NASDAQ and the Russell um, hit a bit of resistance there around the 8.2 level, which uh, is, is a level that historically indicated tech um, being overvalued to the broader market. And we saw, saw those levels, last time we saw these levels was actually back in the, uh, the dot-com bust uh, early 2000s. So FX markets, another quite, a quiet session there too. The US dollar's flat to start the week. Um, and no, there's a real lack of any real news. Dollar index trading within a, a very tight range around 102.61 to 102.83. Uh, traders seem to be awaiting, uh, there's a slew of uh, central bank speakers in US data. Today's session, we should see some, uh, a little bit more action in that uh, currency. Uh, Kiwi dollar was the G10 outperformer. Aussie dollar was flat against the US dollar. The, the Kiwi dollar saw some tailwinds uh, after New Zealand's trade minister said he had some positive discussions with, with China on joining uh, the progressive agreement or the, the CPTPP. Uh, so the Kiwi dollar hit a high of 61.77. That, that, that saw the Aussie dollar, Kiwi dollar cross take a leg down to that low 108s uh, after being quite strong up there around 110s, a little bit overbought up there. Uh, safe havens, uh, the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen, marginally firmer against the US dollar. Uh, the recent kind of melt up to 145 in dollar yen uh, came to a halt as comments from a couple of heavyweights in Japan, uh, Secretary Matsuno and Bodge member Kanda, uh, regarding their displeasure at the one sided trading of the yen, kind of raised that specter of um, FX intervention, which that 145 level is where we saw it last time. Uh, and obviously the Bank of Japan is no stranger to. Uh, Euro was more or less flat traded between 108.88 and 109.20. Um, single currencies lost grip of that psychological 109 level on the, black, on the back of a, a pretty bleak German IFO, IFO servo and some downbeat commentary. Uh, late session rally did see it regain that 109 level, but only just so. It's uh, really shaping up to be a very important level in the short term anyway, a big psychological level. Um, gold tested the lower band of its recent range around 1933. So it's broken out of that range. It's trying to push back in. Um, it had a couple of goes last night, but it was re rejected quite resoundingly. So it's looking like that might actually be a new resistance level and gold will trade uh, in a range under that. But uh, we'll see how the rest of the week goes with a bit more data, whether the gold can break back in there. Um, Tuesday's calendar is a little busier. Canadian CPI, some US consumer data, and uh, ECB President Lagarde is also slated to speak.